All right, so this is my finished product with a bunch of mozzarella cheese on top. Okay, guys, tapos na yung swing ko. I assembled it by myself. Hi, sweetie pies! Welcome back to another vlog. This is just inspiration and more. It's been a while again because no Thursday in the morning, I woke up at around 1 a.m. with cramps. I really thought that I'm going to labor na. Sabi ko, okay, I am exactly 37 weeks today, so magli labor na siguro ako. But it turned out that I think my body was just like preparing for labor and delivery. So it was a false alarm and I had that for a couple of days. So Friday and then Saturday, yesterday I felt good. Maganda yung panahon dito last yesterday. But, <laughs> ewan ko talaga, Al alam nyo yung, well, hindi ko alam yung i-expect ko, how it would feel. Akala ko talaga mga anak na ako, but, <laughs> kasi 37 weeks, sabi ng doctor, if you deliver 37 weeks, it will be okay, it's gonna be normal. Um, the baby will most likely not even need to go to NICU. Sansyahan nyo na yung term ko. NICU ba yun? N-I-C-U. So, I was like, okay, and I'm done anyway. So it's like, uh, it's so hot already. Is it summer in Alaska? Yes. Umiinit po sa Alaska. Kaya pagkagabi, hindi naman siya mainit sa labas. Kaya siguro lahat ng mga tao dito nagkakamping every winter, uh, every summertime, every weekend. Kasi bukod sa magandang-maganda sa labas, ang daming campgrounds, eh hindi mas mainit. Kasi yung mga bahay namin, is made for winter kasi most of the time winter naman talaga dito sa Alaska kaya insulated lahat ng mga bubong ano bubong no mga pader ay ano ba kasi bongbong gani sa Bisaya basta mga walls naman are insulated para hindi masyadong tumagos yung lamig every winter season so that's the reason why medyo mainit talaga sa loob kaysa sa labas kasi sa labas malamig naman yung simoy ng hangin pero me as a pregnant woman Ang init, init, extra init talaga. Pero hindi ako makagalaw. Especially at night time. Ang hirap, hirap. So, andito ko ngayon. I have a swing. Um, I'm on my break sa work. Kasi I need to take a break din naman. And I wanted to build um, the duyan of my baby. It is this swing right here. Cause I think it's pretty doable. So, I'm gonna build it. I never thought I'd be so limited when it comes to movement, but I'm gonna do it now so at least I know that it will work with, along with the, all the other gadgets that this baby already have. So yeah, we're pretty much prepared already. Maybe on the next vlog, I can show you guys what's inside my hospital bag, but I'm still completing that because I have been packing and then unpacking again and adding stuff and taking more stuff. I won't go. I can't decide. So if you are planning to have a nursery, hindi naman masyadong uso yung nurse, nursery sa atin sa Pilipinas. But if you are planning on having a nursery, um, do it. <laughs> the ball. I would say that do it earlier on your first trimester because you're not so, ano, ano pa alam dun? Yung manas. Kasi ngayon, Ako ang init-init, kaya sobra yung um, swollen. Namamaga talaga yung paa ko ngayon. Ang hirap-hirap magagalaw, magkangbagagay yung buong katawan ko. So, kung may mga projects kayo for the baby, you should really start on the earliest of your third trimester. Kasi nakakagalaw ka pa. Kasi if you wait until like 36 or 7, 38, Oh boy, your movement will be so limited. So this is what it looks like. Kasi sa Pilipinas, habol lang naman, di ba? I can't see very well. Kaya kailangan ko mag-glasses kasi napakalabo ng mata ko. So they said it's normal pala. Ay, nako.
Okay guys, tapos na yung swing ko. I assembled it by myself. I was gonna do like um, time lapse. Kaya lang, ang tagal ko kasi hindi ako makagalaw-galaw ng todo because ang sakit-sakit ng chad ko. Tapos ang biri-biri ko pa, hindi ako makabend. So it took me almost an hour. Pero ngayon, I temporarily just plug it in. I'm not sure where it's going to go, but during summer, I think our living room, yun lang yung pinaka um, hindi masyadong mainit. So maybe when the baby first got get here, when the baby pag umuwi na siya, maybe here na lang muna. So try lang natin yung function niya. So this is how you turn it on. Woo, it's working. Do this. Ooh. So nag-swing na siya no. Ganyan. Tapos, depending on how fast you want to swing, ganun. Sera talaga itong mga gamit dito sa ano eh. Oh, di ba? May music siya. <laughs> so proud of myself. I did it by myself. Ah, that is so precious. Ganda pala siya. Ayan. Oh, it's like, um, ano, ambience, sound maker. Charot. So, yan, that's the highlight of my day. At least I am kind of productive. I try to be productive every day while working from home, like at my lunchtime, do something. Um, yeah, for today, this is it. <laughs> Parang nasa jungle. Tapos meron pa nito. I don't know. I think bigay lang to sa baby. Hindi na yata isasapit. Pero ang ganda, no? Ah, so may... Iba-iba yung set position niya. Humaangat. May pahiga ng pahiga. Ignorante lang. Oh, that is so precious. Here you go. Passage is a court. Max natin yung swing. That's the max. Cool. Hi beauties! Today is Tuesday na. I was vlogging yesterday, but I think it was too short. So, I'm gonna continue today. Um, gagawa ko ng spaghetti. Hindi na siya morning. So, I can't say good morning. But it's in the afternoon already. Gagawa ko ng Filipino spaghetti. Because ito lang talaga yung kinakain ng mga pamilya ko. Ayaw nila yung typical na uh, spaghetti na... Italian style or something. But when I make Filipino sweet spaghetti, kinakain nila. Ayoko naman ng pasta. So, tingnan natin. <laughs> so, sila lang kumakain usually. So, mamaya siguro I will just eat avocado toast because I have been into avocado lately. Kung nakita niyo lang yung dinner ko last night, it was bagel sandwich na may avocado and rotisserie chicken. And it was delish. Papakita ko pa ba sa inyo? Alam niyo naman kung paano maggawa ng spaghetti. Alright guys, I'm currently cooking my spaghetti. I already sauteed my onion, my garlic, and my beef. And then the hot dog. Uh, American hot dog siya kasi wala kami yung Filipino hot dog. Hindi ako nakakunta ng Filipino store. But I got this from Walmart. Sweet Filipino style spaghetti sauce. So ito ang kakamitin ko. And then my noodles is boiling. Alam niyo yung, yung process, di ba? And then I'm just gonna add the sauce here, and then all for all purpose cream or basta cream, mama ya maya. Pang finish finishing stuff, pang finishing finishing toppings, <laughs> finishing nesha, finishing touch. Pala just ko naman yung otak ko. All right, so this is my finished product with a bunch of mozzarella. Cheese on top, 
So, kakainin na nila yan. It looks maliit, but it's actually very big. There you go. My Filipino spaghetti. Kain.